Good morning, everyone. As you can see, I'm doing something a little bit different. I am doing a vlog. I have an exciting week ahead. I'm going to New York tomorrow to attend Scent Explore. And so I wanted to bring you along with me and show you some behind the scenes. As you can see, I'm still in my PJs. It is the morning. I got some work done. I had some breakfast. And now I'm going to get ready to do a few bits and bobs of work and then I'm gonna start packing for New York because my flight is tomorrow and yeah, I'm really excited and can't wait to take you along with me on the journey. I am dressed, I have makeup on, I look like a human being again. I'm just wearing like a cozy, chunky sweater that I got years ago from Zara. Actually, this is more of a sweater dress. I'm just wearing some black leggings, very chill. I'm spending the day at home shooting some content and getting everything done before going to New York. And my scent of the day to finish off the whole look is Atlas Fever by Ex Nihilo. This is a spicy, woody fragrance that is super strong, so you don't need that many sprays. It smells beautiful. It's like a milky, sweet, lactonic, woody scent. Beautiful and super cozy for when it's like a gray day like today outside. Now to this morning, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. I'm gonna finish off some little ad mini bits, upload a few YouTube videos before going, and then I'm gonna go into shooting some content. Work is done for this morning on my computer and I just received a package from Parfum de Marly and so I thought that we could unbox it together. I have no idea what is in here. It's so nice getting little surprises. So I'm really excited. Let's take a look. I have been really obsessed with their Deline and La Rose, by the way. This is a little mini that I received and look how much I've used of the fragrance. I love it. This is like another everyday type of perfume for me that I love just as much as Le Vent by Ormond Jane. If you've been following me, you know how much I'm obsessed with this fragrance. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. <gasps> look at this packaging. It is so gorgeous. My gosh, this looks like the Chateau de Versailles or something. Dressed up in festive attire. This is beautiful. I don't, I don't even want to open this. This is so pretty. I feel like I should open it for Christmas, but then I can't wait. I'm too excited. Okay, so let's open it up. Oh, look at that. Let's see. Okay, okay. I love packages and I actually love gifting and wrapping packages as well. Like I, when I was a kid, I used to wrap fake presents because the more the presents, the merrier. That, at least that's what I was thinking. And yeah, I just love gift wrapping. It's so pretty and I'm very sensitive to these things and this is so cute. So I guess, I don't even want to undo the bow. It's so pretty. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Wow. Let's open her up. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, I don't know this fragrance very well. So this is going to be new to me. This is Melior Mel why can I not say this properly? Meliora. If you've tried this fragrance, comment down below, let me know what you think, but I haven't and so I'm really excited to try it. Wow, this is so nice. Thank you so much to the Bafan de Marie team for sending me this fragrance if they ever watch this vlog. I am very grateful. Thank you, thank you so much. Next on the schedule for today is to get some festive decorations because I am doing a festive content shoot for a brand and I need to get like some decor from John Lewis. I already have some bits and bobs, but I feel like I can make it extra festive and I'll take you along with me.
think it's safe to say that I've done some serious damage. So let me show you what I got. So first off, I got these gold leaves. They're quite big, so I don't know if they're gonna look good in the end or if it might be a little bit too much, but they're very Christmassy for sure. I then got some more garlands. Actually, first, look at how cute this is. This is a music chocolate box. Look at this. I just get really excited with Christmas. Anyways, I then got some Charbonnel and Walker chocolates. These are eggnog truffles. I think it's a special edition for Christmas and I'm getting this as a gift for someone. I got some more garlands and we have glitter, gold, but like something that is a little softer than the other gold and not as loud. So that might go better, I'm not sure. Then I got some little animals. How cute are these, which I'll kind of interspersed between like the leaves and things like these are so cute my vibe is going for an enchanted forest with all like the little forest animals that's basically what i want to be doing cute little owl as well and the final thing i got is this scented sachet with like there's oranges or mandarins cinnamon um some little things in there, additional things. I don't know what they're called. I got this last year and it smells really great. It basically smells like Christmas. So I'll be putting this along the dining table and also in like a glass container because it looks super pretty and really festive as well. I only have around an hour and a half to shoot eight short form videos. So I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that there's a little bit of sun rays as well. Get straight into it, get cracking, let's go. So it took me longer than expected to finish filming all of my videos. We are now in the evening. It is dark outside, but it was so much fun. There's glitter all over the floor. It was a festive content shoot and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now I'm thinking about packing and what to bring with me. And I had a thought about the fragrances that I'm taking. So I wanted to show you when I'm bringing to New York. And so here's my thought process. So I'm staying from Thursday to Monday, so a short trip. And I was thinking of wearing two fragrances for the daytime. So I have an option that I can wear on different days. So two fragrances alternating. And then I have two options for the evening as well. And then because I'm extra and I love to wear fragrance to bed, I'm also bringing some fragrances for that occasion and you're gonna think I'm crazy but this is a fragrance channel and I love my perfume so for the daytime if I am going to have something that is a little bit more professional if I have like meetings and stuff I wanted to wear a fragrance that will give me that like polished professional edge and so the one that I like to grab for those kind of situations is Bahad by Celine and this one is a fresh and clean neroli fragrance like neroli musky scent it has a bit of that soapy cleanliness that neroli can give off at times and i think this is super nice and perfect for a more professional encounter it like would pair very well with a crisp white shirt some jeans some like nice flats something like that and for the other days if something is like a little bit more chilled and relaxed and i'm just like browsing around I am going to bring Le Vent by Ormond Jane. This is as close of a fragrance that gets to my signature scent. Like, I feel like this is... I found my perfume, if you know what I mean. And this one is an orange blossom fragrance. And I feel at this stage, I'm having a love affair with orange blossom. Before it was jasmine, but now it's the orange blossom moment to shine. So, Le Vent. Gorgeous, sweet, musky, peony orange blossom scent. I love it. So that will be my other daytime scent. And then for the evenings, I'm gonna get two options and I have three fragrances. The first option, if I wanna go a little bit more bold, I'm gonna layer two fragrances, Love Fest Burning Cherry by Kaali. I love this fragrance. It's such an addictive cherry scent, though it doesn't last, but I still bought it because it smells really good. And I layer that with Oud for Greatness, which 
actually the two together oh my goodness this is like the most intoxicating sexy cherry oud combo ever i haven't smelt this before and i love it it's so addictive and like that this fragrance will last when you layer it with oud for greatness so that's what i will do and if i have a more formal evening like i have no idea what my schedule looks like so i gotta come prepared so if i have something that is a little bit more elegant and formal i'm gonna bring brompton immortals by ex nihilo Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. This is a musky rose with an amber base. It's a touch of sweetness. It's so chic. I love this fragrance, though it is quite expensive. So I'm still testing it out. I'll probably finish the sample and then decide whether I buy it or not because it is, as I said, more on the expensive side, but super beautiful. And I haven't smelled a fragrance like this before, so it might be worth getting. And then for my bedtime fragrances, because one fragrance isn't enough, <laughs> I have two. And both are by Narciso Rodriguez. And to be fair, I wear each of these in the past individually. And I love them so much that one day I was like, well, why don't I just layer them? And that's exactly what I do. And this has been my go-to for going like spraying fragrance before going to bed. I know, again, this is super extra, but I just love it. And I've been wearing this now maybe for the past two weeks every day just mixing these two Ugh, so heavenly a musky cloud of a dream it is beautiful it is clean it's cocooning and it's exactly what i want to smell like before going to bed so that is all the fragrances i'll be taking i'm now going to pack my clothes and some other bits and bobs and i will see you tomorrow Good morning from New York City. I can't believe I'm here. The journey was quite something. The flight was delayed by two hours and then it took forever to get the luggage. However, I had some amazing neighbors in the plane and we had quite the party. We had some drinks and some great conversations. So the flight was really enjoyable thanks to them. And I woke up this morning to the most beautiful view. Check it out. Oh my gosh, like what is going on it's a gorgeous gorgeous day so very excited i'm gonna get ready put some makeup on so i look a little bit more presentable and i'm gonna head out to scent explore so i'll take you along with me I did an apprenticeship at a leading fragrance house uh, called Robertet, um, and so that's where I was trained. And I was lucky enough uh, that they trust uh, me to work on uh, an hour uh, project. Because you said that uh, I have expensive taste, but you know, the first project I won, it was literally written. Well, the the price shouldn't limit the creativity of the perfumer. So, you know, I was young, so I really believed that. And, uh, and so I was, okay, well, so I don't care about the price. And, well, I started with a, a bad habit like that. And uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's how it, it happened.
I stopped by the Max Aroma showroom. I work with Max Aroma and so it was a great opportunity to meet the entire team and also smell all of the fragrances that they had. I probably smelt around 80% of the fragrances in this room. <laughs> it took several hours and I have found some really nice fragrances, a few gems I may add and I'm super excited to share these with you. Hi guys, I am back home. I didn't have the chance to really take the time to film, sit down and speak whilst I was in New York because it was really, really intense and it was a wonderful two days at Scent Explore. It was so special meeting some of you who follow me, who have been supporting me for all this time I can't even tell you how grateful I am to you and I actually got a little bit emotional um, whilst I was there uh, when I just all the emotions kind of came up and I just feel so grateful and happy and it's surreal and it's wild that you just take the time out of your day to watch my videos I don't think you understand how much it means to me and I'm just eternally grateful to you. So if I have met you whilst you were in New York and you're watching this, thank you so much. And thank you to all of you as well who take the time out of your day to watch my videos. As I said, this is incredible. We have such an amazing community here on Jus de Rose and also in the fragrance community in general is super lovely and supportive so i just wanted to say thank you as far as the event itself went uh there was a lot going on um met a lot of you as i said but also um there were some really cool workshops i managed to go to one of them with amouage and cecile zarokian was there to kind of take us through her creations for amouage and like the story and the inspiration behind the fragrances, which was awesome to get to know her a little bit better and also understand the way that she works as an independent perfumer. So I really enjoyed that. And then also I managed to discover some new fragrances and new brands like Sense of Wood. I don't know if you've, any of you have had the chance to try those fragrances, but the whole idea is really cool. I had no idea it was like a subscription basis brand and then you could buy a full size bottle of like your favorite fragrance. I thought that's really cool. And um, I also uh, smelt some newness. I have three fragrances actually that I, that I took home with me. So why don't I show you those? So the first fragrance is from Amor Oud. It is called White Sands. And I really like this one because it is like a clean, fresh, musky perfume. It's meant to be white oud. I don't really know what white oud is, but it has a note of white oud and then musks. Uh, there's some florals as well, but it's really pretty. Look at this. I love the packaging. It's very luxurious. I love how there's like a little pouch. Kind of uh, like luxury makeup items like Chanel blushes or something. There's always a pouch that goes with uh, the makeup. So there we have it. Here's the bottle. Really pretty. I'm wearing it today because I felt like something clean and cozy. So I'm going to apply some more. Yeah, this is really nice. I would say if you like clean florals, some musks, uh, something that is a little bit invigorating and refreshing, there might be some neroli in here, then this is a lovely fragrance to try. I don't know if it's out yet, but it is a new release for sure. Next, we also have uh, Parfum Tea Rose. This is a soft, fresh rose garden type of perfume. I haven't tried it on my skin yet, haven't opened it yet, but I did try it on a blotter whilst I was there. And then a fragrance I'm particularly excited about. This is a new release by Curly Scents and Saharoff of The Immortals. So Andrea is such a sweetheart and she took a fragrance to give to me whilst we were at Scent Explore. I mean, this is so crazy. Have a look at the gorgeous packaging. Yeah, this, this is so nice. It's very heavy as well. And let's open it up. So this is what it looks like open. And the bottle, I mean, look, wow, really, really beautiful. So I actually purchased her first fragrance with Saharov because I wanted to support her. I think she's an amazing human being and I hadn't met her at that point. I met her over the summer in Milan and she's so lovely. She's just as like she is in her videos, like really lovely, bubbly, 
fun and just great to get along with. So it, I, I think it's really special that she brought this fragrance for me to try. And this time round, it's also a bigger bottle versus the other release. So this is in 100 ml and I think the other ones were maybe in 50 ml. So it was like half the size more or less. Now this one, I have to say, I have worn it a few times. Initially, I was like, mm, I don't know if this is for me because this is a unisex gourmand, but on my skin, it turned out to be really sweet and I wasn't sure whether it was one that I would go for or wear. And I did tell her that, but after some time, and also I got compliments whilst wearing this, <laughs> which is a nice sign of validation, I have to say. Over time though, I like the fact that it was a strong, gourmand-like coconut that was sweet because it's very intoxicating and I enjoyed wearing it. I do want to give it a little bit more wear to give you my full review because I want to make sure that I am clear in my mind with like how I feel about it. I need to wear it in different situations and of course now this is tied to a really nice memory which was Scent Explore. So I want to take it out of context and see how it goes, how I feel about it outside of that experience. But so far, so good. Yeah, this is an addictive, sweet coconuts fragrance that it's a fragrance, even though that it is coconut, it's still appropriate for the colder weather because it is quite dense and intoxicating and very sweet. So I will let you know how I get along with this. But anyways, my experience overall at Scent Explorer was fantastic. It was the first time that I intended it in person and I would love to go back next year. I actually haven't found time to really visit New York. It was a short stay. Why are there people honking outside? So rude, interrupting my video. I wasn't able to see much whilst I was in New York because I was mainly at the event and it took up pretty much all of my time, but I'm hoping to go back and explore the city another time. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you want more vlogs. This is the first time I'm doing it, so I don't even know if it is that interesting or if you wanna see this kind of content. Please let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video.